I, I don't know what's going on right now. It's being my Discord's being really weird. Um okay, I don't have very much time, but you I was just listening to this casually, but you said that you wanted someone to come in. Um yeah. just like make an argument. I'll probably make like a fairly quick argument. Um so I guess I'd ask you, uh let's just say hypothetically speaking, um, that there was something um very immoral. Um and I'll connect this back to abortion. Um but we, so there's an action that's very Im- that's like very immoral, but through banning it, you're actually like killing more people. Would you reg- would you um regard that action as um something that's worthy to be banned still, even if it kills more yeah. people? Yeah. Okay. Um. We can hold those people accountable. Um. Instead of portraying them as heroes hey. and people who've been through a lot in the news. We can put them behind bars where they belong. So one of the one of the really interesting things, and I actually originally didn't believe this. Um, I used to be pro life, and I and I thought this is like really unintuitive. But um, I guess you probably know what I'm where I'm going with this. Um, yeah, like banning abortion actually doesn't reduce the number of abortions that happens; just increases the number of people who die from them. Um, like both like non both uh, non children and sorry both non fetuses and uh, fetuses. Sorry, not fetuses themselves, but just um, just like people doing the abortion, so more likely to die from it. Um, so well, like, but this, this isn't is an argument. This yeah, isn't an this argument. Is a, no, no. no look, not, I not, I can get into an, an argument. argument. Oh, a, yeah. Hold on. One second. Yeah, one second. Wait, why should... One second. There's a couple problems. First off, the government should be in no position where they're actively supporting abortion. Okay, so so they they should not make any provisions by which people are going to murder babies. So I'm sorry. Now you may make the case. Well, under these particular policies, more of them have happened. I would like to see the uh, the studies on that. But but secondly, the moral stance against it is something that the government ought to take. We we should not be in a government that actively supports the murder of children. I, I mean, do you think that active? So, so I never said that um this would have reduced the number of abortions that would happen. I just said it would remain the same. It would just um, it would just re- it would that. just main. Yeah, I can uh, send some studies. Um, give me a second. Until it's completely banned across the U.S., we won't know that. Regardless, it will eventually, by common sense, come to a decline slowly. The reason there's so many abortions is because it's it's seen as a, a good thing, a moral thing, the right thing to do. Have useless sex, kill babies. It's seen as the right thing to do. And if anybody who speaks against it is canceled on Twitter.com, why we don't know. They just do. Okay, so, so I there's can't. No, there's no your your argument against this isn't even against pro life itself. It's just the effects of what would happen against the law. Yeah, exactly. I, I'm not, not, not saying that this is an ar- well, well, it technically legal issues are moral issues, but yes, I do admit that this isn't always. an inherently pro choice pro choice argument. It can also be a pro life argument. Um, and I would say that if you were pro life, you'd be um, very much in support of such a law, um, or sorry, such a decriminalization, which isn't act, which isn't the same as actively supporting something. It's just not going against it. Um, there's a difference. Um, it could be supporting it by not going against it in, in a sense, but it's not actively supporting it. Um, and I don't support because, Nazi Germany, but I live in Germany. What do you call that? Um, I, I call that um, a implicit support. That's not an active support. Um, so, like, you can make the argument that's a support of it, but it's not an active support, which is what Brojo said. So, like, um, I'm, I'm like someone, so, like, if I'm pro-life, which I would regard myself as, like, generally speaking, being, like, pro-life. Like, I'm not, I'm like, um, I think abortion is fine, but, like, um, in general, like I don't want people to die, and even if I was actually like pro-life, I would suggest this as being a much more pro-life position uh, to be for legalization. Now you can say that's still an immoral action and discourage people from like under like engaging in that action. But um, I sent one study. Uh, there's a cool down. There's a second study. Um, and I can send you the exact quotes. It just I have to like um that like within the abstract um that like say exactly what I'm trying to say. So I have two studies here um in like reformation stage. Um, so, yeah, I would essentially make the argument that, um, like, I care about, um, like, saving the most amount of lives possible. 
And I think it's like a really valuable goal. And if through legalizing um, abortion that saves more lives, even assume that fetuses are lives, um, I think that's a worthy action. And especially because um, there's a lot of like monetary costs associated with enforcement of it. Um, you made the argument that uh, through enforcement of the of these laws, um, that's the reason why we should have have these things banned because we can enforce them. But that costs money, and it doesn't actually have any effects um, on like the real world. Like you can make like abstract philosophical arguments, like oh, it feels good to enforce these laws, but if it actually doesn't do good, I don't really care. Hello. Hello. But we don't. We should. We don't have any basis for why we should take anything you say seriously because you don't have an ultimate, an objective, morally grounded manifest for anything you assert. So no one well, should. neither do you. Now that's your assertion because I'm 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 appealing to a God who um is well, well, God is an objective. No, no, no. Okay, that's just your external critique. Just because like, you yes, and that was your external mean, critique of my of my position as well. So, like, just no, saying that no, doesn't you, mean you actually admitted that you don't have an appeal in your view. I, yes, and neither do you. About my view. No, I didn't admit that about my view. I'm appealing to guys. I, I, don't, I don't care if you admit it or not. I, I don't care if you're admitting the logical conclusion right. of your of your assertions. It is the case. No, you can't. Well, do, what do you know what the is odd gap is? No, wait, wait, wait a minute. Logical conclusion. Where do you get logic from, sir? Uh, do you know what the is ought gap is? Where do you get logic from? Uh, from from epistemology. Uh, what? Okay. It, uh, where do you ground logic? Uh, I, you you ground lo you ground logic um, based on whether or not it corresponds with reality. So we make logical um, principles on the basis of um, on the basis of like how it corresponds with reality. And what is reality? Um, reality? Reality is all of existence. Define existence. Uh, I, I'm, um, I mean, if you want me to rephrase it, um, so existence is reality, reality is existence. Um, you, you want me to like find another way to rephrase it? Uh, yeah, because what is, uh, what I is... know one of my friends has uh, schizophrenia, so reality for him is completely different than what he is. Yeah, what does reality mean? You gotta be more specific than that. I, re reality is everything that exists. Everything that exists. So, reality is the sun and the moon and the stars yep. and everything else. Uh, yes. So, physical objects dictate ethical norms. I uh, no. Again, there's an is on gap. Do you know what that is? Oh, or okay, you sir. You said, but you use you appeal you use reality to talk about logic and stuff like that. Yes, but logic. So, but logic doesn't have no. But logic. What does logic um, have to do with physical objects? Epistemology and ethics are two different things. So, is, so we sir, ground our logic stop, based stop. on what does logic have to do with the collection of physical objects? Uh, because through our observations of reality, we can therefore um, infer certain uh, what's it called? We can we can therefore infer certain um, rules by which those objects in reality are, adhere to. You don't know what you're talking about. You're just saying a bunch of bull crap. You're just you're just giving me a bunch of words, Sally. You don't even connect this to anything you're just saying epistemology and all this you're, you're just Wait, giving do you want, do you want me to ask? you're giving me a wall of words you're not saying anything do, do you want existence, me to simplify this for you existence is not a predicate you are bsing i know you're bsing and you know that i know you're bsing sir we all know that you're bsing here you don't have any standard to determine any ethic whatsoever even by your own admittance this is the look, point. Look, I, I think it's pretty clear that you don't understand epistemology and moral philosophy. You don't even know what epistemology the, the epistemology just asks the question, how do we know? I'm talking about how do you, do you have any ultimate a metaphysic that grounds anything you say ontologically? Do you have something clear and ontological in nature that grounds anything you say? Yes, reality. So the so the compilation of physical objects. Yes, everything in existence. Existence. What itself. about what about physical objects gives you abstract reasoning like rationality? 
because we can because rationality is derived from our from our observations of reality. Sorry for giving you. You're just saying more bull crap. Reality is not. Okay, if you can't respond to it, it's fine. I mean, you went on this what, Dude, random tangent. Reality it's like, is not. This is very reality, tangential to the original. Sir, topic. reality is reality is not a predicate, sir. It's just an abstraction. I, I think a reality is just as much of a predicate as God. Dude, it's, it's okay, an, I'll say it's that. An, it's an abstraction. You're not telling me the grounds in which um, logic, uh, logic itself is rooted in. You're just seeing I, I, reality. I just explain. I just explained it to you. No, okay, you didn't. I don't know what. I don't no, know what else. You're to saying say logic you're... is rooted. Logic is rooted in the existence of physical objects. What you just told me. You know how I, stupid yes. that is. <laughs> okay, what, I, what I know you that you logic? feel a certain find, way. Where do you find? Where do you find logic under a rock or behind a tree? Or like something find, like that. Will you observe? Will you observe all of reality, not just individual objects? You make observations about reality in general, and then through those, you um, infer certain logical principles, such as A equals A. Um, uh, a about, can, and B. And if they're mutually exclusive, there can't be a middle ground. About I ain't say nothing about an inference. Inferring something doesn't make it true. I told you I, the ground, I, the I told you the ground logic itself. Now yeah, you, I said, yeah, I said that. Saying, that's, that's how you not, ground logic no, you through said, observation. You said inference, sir. Yeah. Doesn't inference make it true? I uh, yes. Oh my god! Yeah, we're done here. This is this is retarded. This dude is a total moron. He said an inference makes it true. When you got people who reason this stupid. It, it, it's time to move on. Or we can infer it by our observations. Does that make it true? No, it doesn't. When someone starts to talk, um, you know what? Did you have some questions for him, Nick? Is that why you wanted to be invited in? Because I'll bring him back in if you want to talk to him. But I'm, I'm going to no, talk to okay. this clown. He was just giving uh, me a bunch of just meaningless and pointless sophistry. Uh, hold on, bring him back up. I think I might have a few questions for him. Um, does yeah, you Nick can, have a defense of his atheism? Yeah, you can talk to him. I, I, I mean, I do. I don't have too much time to be honest. Like, I have homework to do, but um. Oh, that's yeah, I'll I just, cool. Cool. Um, sure. But yeah, sure, hit me up. Uh, all right. What was your point again? Please elaborate. Uh, my, that my, clearly. my point is that um, any. A grounding of reality. So I, I think that you ultimately have to make certain unjustified presuppositions with regards to epistemology. Um, it, like you have to make some sort of some like un unfounded like ideas about, um, like for example, um, generally speaking, like my sense are accurate stuff like that. But I think that um grounding it in reality itself is as good of a um a, of a like way in which you ground um like logic and everything as God is. And how do you relate that back to uh, if abortion is murder or not? Well, actually, uh, well, well, um, Tunlock actually like went on this diversion. I didn't want to go on this diversion initially, um, but like, uh, no, I didn't go on this diversion. I just well, said yes, you have you nothing. No, I didn't. All I said was that you have nothing, a uh, metaphysically ultimate and objective to yes, stipulate you any essence. Diversion. That's what I said. I said no. You're the one who went on to it. I just said you don't have anything to appeal to. That's yeah, what I said. Exactly. You went on you went on a diversion about moral philosophy and then you went on the diversion from no, that. I said, I said and you had if you know about the I said, yeah, sh you know okay, okay, yeah, 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 shut, shut, yeah, you're a moron. What an idiot. All he does is just talk, talk, talk. No, he doesn't sure. listen. He just an argumentative little twit. That's all he is. Uh, anybody else want to come out to defend uh, abortion or not? Nah?